a YouTube channel. Anyway, guys, I'm back. The camera had died on me. Um, like I was saying, I'm gonna name this DIY, uh, DIY blubber slime. I actually took the gloves off because I read the article. And it says if this stuff gets anywhere, you can actually just use hot water and it'll come right out. So yeah, this was actually a success. I made blubber slime today. I never think I would make slime. Like I see slime videos everywhere. And all you need is a pinch of salt. Like I already added the salt before I started recording. All you need is a pinch of salt and flour and water. That's, that's all you need. Like if you don't add the salt, like the stuff, this is gonna it's not gonna mix right with the with the water. It's just gonna be loose. So you have to add the salt. Like he never made like a, a cake before that you to add the but the butter and the eggs because butter already contains a whole bunch of salt. So that's why you don't have to do that. And the butter, the margarine in the butter makes the Cake moist. Let's go ahead and go like this. Make it to like a chirrup. <laughs> All right. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. This water is completely murky over here. It's disgusting. Water. You should see what this stuff does in water. It freaking flips. Like, it's like, no, don't put me in the water, please don't. I'm like, oh, oh well, you're going in the water. So let me guy let me know down in the comments what I should do with this slime. Uh I should have added color to it because it'll probably make it look even better. I think that would probably have made more sense to add color to this. Like I have food, I have all colors of food dye. Sprinkles, you name it. Um I'm so glad I put a tarp down on the floor because this stuff is everywhere. But yeah, I have a blue tarp all around my room because I, I did not know what was going to happen. Like, I should have put, also put it up on the walls. That probably would have made more sense. But you know, YOLO. This stuff is so fun. Uh, I'm going to have one more experiment while I'm here. I'm going to see how this stuff does if I put it in freezing cold water. Let's go ahead and move you out the way. Let's go ahead and move this bowl over here. Let's go. Jesus, did you see that? See how strong this stuff is? It just lifts up this whole thing of water. Watch this. Dang. All right, so let's go ahead and put this in the water. And again, I cannot feel this. It's like bubbles just coming up because of the air pockets in the, so yeah, even without hot water, this stuff just comes straight off. Like, look at this. It's turning into a liquid again. So there you are, folks. If you do make a mess making this, and I'm not saying you will make it. I'm not forcing you to make it. If you do make a mess making this, just put it in some hot or cold water and it'll turn back into a liquid. Kind of like knead it. And look at this. This stuff is turning back into a liquid. Just that fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and knead it just to prove to you guys it'll turn back into. Oh, this stuff is freezing! <laughs> Let me use the spoon. I think that'll make a lot more sense. Go ahead and just stir, stir. Oh yeah, this stuff is definitely turning back into a liquid. Like if I were to go like this, Look at that. It's a liquid again. Okay, you can't. Good thing I had the tarp. It's just like flinging everywhere. It's even on my computer. My computer's all the way back there. It's on my computer. Good thing I put the tarp down. And the camera. The camera's actually fine. Like the lens is just fine. is fine. It's like turning it back into a liquid. But I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff. Okay. Thank God for the tarp. Put all this stuff back over here. 
get up. We're acting up. Put it all back over here. You guys have a party over here. Hello, Barbie. Let's go party. You guys know that song? Was it even Hello, Barbie? Was it Come On, Barbie? I don't even know. Just transfer all this back on over there. Look at this. It's like a liquid again. Thank God for the freaking tarp. I'm telling you guys. There's a mess in here. Um, like this stuff is like the consistency of oatmeal right now. It's like, I'm not even exaggerating. But, if you guys do... Okay, if you guys do want to clean your hands, just use the hot water, seriously, because it will come off. Even like doing this, it comes straight off. But, I'm going to have to touch my mouse. I'm so sorry, mouse. Because like the computer, I use the computer for a monitor, which is connected to the camera, so I can see what I'm doing. Like, I can see what I'm doing right now on the monitor over there. So, because like sometimes you get me caught looking over there thinking the camera's over here, the camera's right here. That's just the monitor. So... Yeah, hope you guys, that's what I was doing over there when I was trying to plug that stuff in. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Like, this stuff is extremely messy. Like, look, look I'm going to bring my hands up there to the camera. Look at my hands. My hands are messy. wash your hands in it oh my gosh it's a perfect soap oh yes it lathers your skin I'm sorry it's like this stuff all over my lip anyway I'm making a mess I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like if you didn't dislike and go watch another video to entertain you more um I'm gonna try to do more science experiments um there's one uploading that was one uploaded before this which was the layered water I really enjoyed this one, that one. But this one, funnest. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, this is my third time saying it. Please leave a like, dislike, and while we watch something else entertain you more. I don't know what's going to entertain you if it did have not entertain you. Um, catch you guys in the next experiment. Bye. Bye. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Why did I say things twice? I don't know. Today, we're going to be making blubber for your hands. So when you put your hands in cold water... You can't feel a thing. Who, who's ever putting their foot in cold water and you felt like it's numbing your foot or it hurts really, really bad? Or your hand in cold water and it hurts really, really bad because it's actually numbing, trying to numb your hand. But anyway, today we're going to make blubber, which you cannot feel with cold water like at all, like what polar bears have. They don't get cold. So today, with for blah, 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 can't talk. For this experiment, you're going to need... Let me talk. Wait a minute. I need to get something very, very important. I'm so sorry, guys. Should have been prepared. I'm so sorry. Should have did this before I started the video. But it made a lot more sense too, anyway. Alright. I've got that mouse there, so when I need to pause the video, I can. Um, so I can just go like this and pause it. Alright, so. You're, you're going to need gloves because you don't. This stuff will freaking mess up your clothes, mess up a lot of things because it hardens very fast. You're going to need gloves. If you're just going to use one hand, you can get one hand. I have ice water over here. It doesn't look like there's ice in it because most of the ice melted. I had I was recording a video before this. So, uh, yeah. So, what you're going to want to I need to go get some water. I'll be right back. Anyway, guys. Anyway, guys. Why do I say? Okay. I need to stop this saying stuff twice. Anyway, guys. I'm back. I got water, I got a spoon, because I forgot both ingredients. So what you want to do first, you want a mixing bowl, some freezing freezing cold water, water, hot water, has to be hot, or it's not going to work. 
flour, a spoon, and a mouse to pause your video. <laughs> that is that. All right, so first we want to pour this whole one cup of flour in it. And then you want to pour 16 ounces of water in here. After that, you just want to mix like you're mixing, making pancakes. Just keep on mixing. Mix until all the lumps are gone. If it's too watery, you may need to add more flour. You want it like really, really thick. Like if you're not making pancakes. Alright, so I'm going to pause this. And after I finish mixing, I'll be right back, okay? Alright. I'm back. I had to get a lot more flour because it wasn't thick enough. Let me pause this and continue mixing. Alright guys, so I've mixed it up where it's almost like a paste. And that is exactly how you want it when it's like extremely thick. Can you see that? Here, let me bring it up to the camera. When it's like extremely, extremely thick. Let this thing focus. Alright. See how thick that is? That's how you want that. Alright, so let's bring this back here. Now, what you want to do is take off the spoon. I mean, this stuff is extremely, extremely messy. I almost don't, okay, let me put this in a cup because I use this for other videos. Right, let's go ahead, take some of this stuff. You see how this stuff is? It's almost like slime, almost. So you want to take, which hand is your non-dominant hand because you're going to need to take off this glove because this glove is going to get very hard. All right, so you want to cover this, cover your non-dominant hand with, in that case, it's my left hand with this blubber stuff. Like all parts of your hand so you won't feel the cold water whatsoever. Alright? You know like when polar bears, you know how polar bears have a whole lot of fur? But we're going to kind of like replicate that but with... Oh, I don't know what that is. With the flower. You guys hear that, right? Okay, so this is kind of not not working. I think it's because of the stuff that's on, you know the powdery stuff they put in gloves? Well, they put on gloves. <gasps> no! Gotta get this up. Okay, no. 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 Not on the floor. Okay, perfect. Alright, so now that you have your hand all covered in this, you're going to put your hand in the little straggler. Put your hand in the freezing cold water. You ready? You won't feel a thing, I promise you. If you did this correctly, you won't feel a thing. Ready? And go. It's actually working! It doesn't even feel like I have my hand in anything. Like, it's so thick. Right, let's put, oh god, it's falling apart. All right. No, it's falling apart. Alright, let's pull this back out. Just place this back up here. Squeeze all this excess water off. Oh god. It sounds like a poop just fell in the toilet. Alright. Squeeze all this off. And let's go ahead and dry it with all this paste. Like it's that thick. I let all this just fall off. There we go. Anyway. That is how you make blubber. Um, you can basically use this stuff for anything. Like if you want to... Like, get in the shower and don't want to wear a shower net, a hair net thingy. You can use this to cover your perm. I guess that's what ladies call it, a perm. Like, this is heavy. This is really heavy. It feels like a ball of dough, which it is. I have to get that up immediately. I'll pause and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I had to pick some up off the floor, but yeah. This is kind of stuff that's kind of like a slime. Actually, I would call this a slime. Yeah. DIY blubber slime. This is